What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. Today we have a fun one, long overdue. I've been waiting probably seven, eight months for some product to show up. But today we finally have the pa, 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 top five pizza ovens. Pizza ovens are a fun one. I'm excited about this video, let's go. All right, if you guys are in the Denver, Colorado area, come down to our showroom where you can see a plethora of pizza ovens for yourself. Uh, if you're new to our channel, subscribe. It helps us out a lot when you do that. Go over to TikTok, watch all of our fun little TikTok videos. All right, so we're talking pizza ovens. We have our top five rated. Uh, I would say probably in the last couple of years, pizza ovens have like really grown in popular popularity. I would say 2022 was the summer of pizza ovens. Uh, every year there's like a new trend or, or something where a particular type of product goes crazy. I would say the last year or two during the pandemic, like Kamados went crazy, like charcoal grills went crazy because people were at home, they had time to spend. This summer, um, I don't know what's going on, but pizza ovens, I think because there's a lot of new innovation in the department, a lot of really cool new stuff. And there are pe I think people are just catching on that they're super fun. And because they're a lot of fun, they're really popular. So that being said, we got some new products here. Let's start breaking down the top five. Let's get to number five. Also, all these pizza ovens around, what do we have to do, Chris? Have to cook we have pizza. to cook something. So we will be cooking on one of these bad boys. I'm not telling you which one though. Okay, so this particular marketplace um, has been flooded. Uh, there's Uni, there's a couple other brands. Uh, there's the Gosney Rockbox, sort of this portable mini style countertop pizza oven. These of course are crazy in popularity because it's not a big investment, it's not crazy expensive, and you can tuck them away if you need to when you're not using them. But then when you want them out, they're super fun. So very popular. So why is the Rockbox rated higher than some of the other brands? Well, there's a lot to like about it. One, it comes in a bunch of different colors. This is the green color. And what's kind of unique about it is it has like the silicone coating, not coating, but sort of shell around it. And then if you look at this picture here, this is why I really like it. And we'll talk, we're gonna be getting into Gosney later in the episode. But they have this proprietary sort of material that they use with their stone. So their stone, I think, retains heat better than a lot of pizza ovens. And you can see the whole top of the pizza oven is insulated as well. It gets up to 950 degrees. So this thing gets hot, even though it's kind of like a mini little guy and they have a, a lot of fun accessories for it. I think they have some of the best accessories. And then how it works is these legs sort of fold in on themselves. So they double fold, almost like they have a knee to them. So it can really tuck away. And you can go just a tiny bit tall if you want, or you can go all the way tall, like I have it set up here. But I, what I would say makes this the most unique out of all the pizza ovens, is one, it's gonna have a five-year warranty. And two, what's really cool is this jacket that's around here, it's really bizarre. I don't know if the camera would capture it when we actually cooked on it, but it kind of swells up like it's airtight and that's on purpose. And then this, it gets warm, but it's not gonna like scald you. It doesn't burn you and send you to the hospital type thing. So that's what's really cool. But this canister on the back here, let's see if I can swivel this out. So this is what's really unique about this. So this is your gas. So see, it's got a little electronic starter there. A little, little starter, that's how you start it. So this is gonna be like your propane gas and that twists in to the bottom here. What's really, really cool is it can be dual fuel. So they have a canister that actually twists in for wood. So it's really, really unique in that way where you can buy it for propane or you can do a wood canister as well. So you can have this little mini guy burning on wood. How cool is that? I think that's really cool. So this is gonna be your average, you know, small investment, four or 500 bucks, very simple. And that's why it came in at number five, um, just because it's sort of the lowest cost and the physically smallest out of the bunch. So this is the Rockbox by Gosney. Let's get to number four. Coming in at number four, it's gonna be the Artisan Pizza Oven. Okay, so Artisan, and Alfresco are the same company. The Alfresco is like the top tier. So the Alfresco is a little bit nicer than this and I'll tell you what the differences are. And then the Artisan, which can be more of a price point model. Uh, we just did the Artisan because one, we have it here. 
and two, it, it's just a little bit better price point, but the alfresco is just a little bit nicer. But this is like your very standard, you know, stainless steel, match your outdoor kitchen type setup, pizza oven. There's a couple unique things about it. Um, one is you can do a countertop model or you can do uh, a built-in model. So you can sort of do either one. It comes with natural gas or propane, straight gas. So you're not gonna have any multi-fuel or anything. What I do like about it is it does come with a door standard. And then we've cooked on this one, so it's really dirty. So it does have interior lighting, which is always a plus. Um, but I would say what makes this guy unique is going to be their burner system. So you can see they do have like a stone hearth on the bottom and then they have a stone hearth on the top and then we have a rear burner. So our gas is gonna basically shoot out of there and then roll up and heat up the top of the hearth and cook from the top down like a traditional pizza oven. A difference you get with the alfresco is they have a decorative ceramic log back there, but not only does the log look cool, um, I think it puts off a little more radiant heat as well. So that's an upgrade you get with the alfresco. Also with the alfresco, you get glass doors instead of the solid stainless. But here's what I would say makes them super unique is there's actually, it's kind of hard to lift up, so I'm not gonna do it. Maybe I can, let's get it. Let's just give it a go. Check, look at this. This is what makes this guy unique. Getting all dirty in my nice clothes. So look at this. This is one of the only pizza ovens I know that has a burner underneath the hearth. So I don't know if you've watched that video of me where I let this thing rip and I was gonna reverse your steak in it. And I got busy with customers for like 45 minutes. This thing, I had both burners on full blast because I've never really used a pizza oven with a bottom burner before. I mean, the, I put the butter in the pan, it's just it like spontaneous combustion, just poof, gone. <laughs> I'll have to show you a little clip of it, but it, uh, what I'm saying is, is uh, that bottom burner, I would say, I don't think there's a pizza oven that's gonna get hotter than this, which after eight, 900 degrees, you don't really want it hotter anyways. But I do think one of the advantages to the bottom burner in here is going to be the fact that um, I think it gives us a little more flexibility to use this more like a traditional oven. So you wouldn't necessarily have to cook from the top down. You could cook with just the bottom one on and kind of use it that way, or you can use just from the top down a traditional way. So I think it gives you a little more flexibility in that sense and it's kind of cool. The alfresco model, you get an infrared burner versus the stainless tube burner. All right, so that's number four. Should we get on to number three? Coming in at number three is gonna be the Lynx, how do you say it, Napoli? Yes. Napoli pizza oven. No, it's an Italian. All right, so out of the traditional stainless steel countertop built-in pizza ovens, I think Lynx makes the best one. Um, that being said, you remember how I mentioned in the video, there's a lot of brands that are coming to market with one. Um, Heston has one that we'll be doing a review on. We just haven't gotten it yet. Twin Eagles has one that we'll be doing a review on. We just haven't gotten it. Uh, Fire Magic has one. I don't know if we'll be doing a review on that one. Um, I looked at a show, it's solid. But anyways, there's a lot of other stuff I haven't really, really dug into because it's all brand new right now. But out of what's out there right now, these guys make the best you know, stainless steel type outdoor kitchen one. And there's a couple really cool reasons. I think what's gonna make this stand apart the most is gonna be this right here. You guys ready? Check this out. It's the only pizza oven that I know of that has like a pull out hearth. Now, why this is so cool is you're gonna see when we cook on one in a minute, pizza ovens are a little bit of a pain. You have a small opening, you gotta watch your hands, sometimes put on a welding glove. You gotta be careful not to burn it, turn your pizza. This makes it super simple just to grab it from the side, flip it if you want to. But I think more importantly, what this sort of pull out tray does for you is it allows you again, more flexibility to use it like a traditional oven because it's hard investing this type of equipment uh, in an oven that all it does is pizzas. Now, all of them you can do more than pizzas, but this I think lends itself more to like baking. It's a lot easier getting baking sheets in and out of here with this pullout tray versus, um, you know, not having it. So I think that's the one thing. And I think it's very attractive. You think it's a pretty pizza oven, Chris? Yeah, it's really large. 
It is big, so it's big, and I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna have to really get the camera in there. Uh, you can do it built in or on a countertop. I personally think they're built in. It's the same skew no matter what, but it looks kind of stupid because it only goes in like to here. So you build it in like this far. So you basically just get rid of the granite. So at that point, I would just, little tip, just put it right on the countertop because the built-in doesn't look that great in my opinion. All right, so as you can see when we open this up, it does have interior lighting as well. And then we have two burners. So they're gonna be hot surface ignition burners. And what that means is it's gonna be almost like a cigarette lighter in a car, and that just helps with the reliability. And there are two infrared, ceramic infrared burners on the left and right. So what that means, Chris, is we're gonna, there's gonna burn, maybe we'll show you a video on the Lynx website, but it's gonna burn and go up this way towards the dome on the top. And again, cooking from the top down. And if you can get in there, Chris, they have a, a stone top, but what's unique about theirs is it's not just a flat top. It's like an actual dome, which I think helps promote the idea of pizza oven type cooking in general. And the last thing, which I think is really cool about this is going to be the vent out the front. Um, I have to double check, but I'm almost positive with that vent out the front, it does help reduce our clearances. Now, you don't want a TV re right behind that. That's, that's a no-no. That just, <laughs> obviously this one isn't burning. But yeah, you can, I think it helps with your clearance to, clearances to sidewalls and things like that, which is also another plus. But you're right, Chris, it definitely sits taller than most pizza ovens, but it's very understated, very classy, very attractive, and very, very functional. So again, I'm excited to get my hands on that Heston and Twin Eagles one more than anything. But uh, out of the lineup right now, this is the way to go. So subscribe to our channel because that Heston and Twin Eagles video are coming. And you'll get the jury out if it actually can top this. But out of the current pizza lineup, traditional stainless steel, this is definitely the way to go. Little shameless plug, I usually don't do this in videos. We had like a year waiting list on these. We finally, I placed a stock order like a year ago. So these are actually in stock, uh, if you can believe it. So if you wanna check those out, we got them. You can buy one here. All right, should we get to number two? It's time to cook a pizza, by the way. All right, so coming in at number two, we have the Chicago Brick Oven Series. So these guys are super unique. You can see this is indoor. Check this out. We have this thing ripping right now. I had it ripping for about two hours or so, and that's because I just like to have a really, really, really hot ember bed in there. Uh, of course, that's gonna be the best way to cook pizzas. Now, what's unique about this? This is, this particular one is wood only. This is the medium size, comes in small, medium, large. And what's so cool about it is two things. One is it's a do-it-yourself kit. And two, uh, it can be, it's one of the only pizza ovens I know that's wood burning that is rated for indoor use. So it's UL rated, you can use it indoor or outdoor. This is the most authentic pizza oven without literally building your own. And so the do-it-yourself kit is basically, if you look on the so inside here, this sort of concrete dome and the concrete hearth, that's really all you're buying. And then you do your own finish work around it. So like this sort of chimney stack that we did, and then this is Venetian plaster bowl that we did around it, um, that we just did ourselves. So it's gonna be the most customizable for your particular use. And then there's an insulation blanket that goes over it. So this is warm, but you can see, even though we're above 900 degrees on the inside of the oven, this is not that hot. So that's what's so cool about it, is it's really, really well designed. They also do offer some hybrid ones, some countertop models, but this is like the truly authentic type wood burning, and this is the one we're cooking on. Let's just get another log in here. All right, little tip. We use caputo, I don't know how you say it, capucho uh, flour, because it's all wheat flour and something about the way they grind it. It almost like has more of a graininess to it, and this is like the best flour to use to keep your pizza dough from not sticking, because that's the number one annoyance is pizza dough that sticks. Nobody likes that. Tip number two, we only use Bianco tomatoes because we're not in actual Italy. These are the best in the US to use. That TikTok video I did where a pizza was coming out of the Gosney at an LA event, that was actually Mr. Bianco himself. So he knows what he's doing. So we're using his tomatoes. 
and I'm using my professional tomato spreader plastic spoon. Just kidding. All right, we were up against the gun here, so this is just some store-bought mozzarella. Put that on here to taste. All right, so we're going, obviously, just traditional margarita. I kind of like a lot of basil myself. All right, we ready to throw this pizza in? All right, so I'm just, it kind of comes with this brush and everything. There you get all of your ash out of the way. So we are ready, man, I, this feels legit. Like I was saying, um, this is gonna be the most, uh, if you wanna get the, uh, the most authentic thing without building it yourself, this, there's no better option than this. All right, let's give it a try. Ah, sticking a little bit. There we go. Told you I knew what I was doing, guys. I like to flip it as much as possible. We have nice, even heat. So our hearth is sitting about a little over 600 degrees on the hearth. Obviously, the top area is going to be much hotter than that. Oh, mama. Check that out. Looks like I burned one side. That's the thing with pizza oven. Whoa, I almost dropped it. She'll get away from you real quick. So you gotta really pay attention to what you're doing. I'm still learning. All right, we're gonna have to see how we did. Question is, what is the best piece? This one looks like, oh yeah, that's the winner right here. Hmm. That tomato sauce is really good. Like really good. Everyone knows the rules. That's eight, seven pizza review. I'm just kidding. I don't think uh, Mr. Pizza Review guy, Dave, was it Dave Portney? Yeah. I don't think he'd rate our pizza very high. Maybe he would. It is pretty good. All right, coming in at number one, now that I'm nice and full, boom, the Gosney Dome. So Gosney Dome is new to this year. Gosney, in my opinion, has taken the pizza oven market by storm. I think this is hands down the best pizza oven. It's the one on my patio and I'm here to tell you why it's the best. Okay, the first thing about it is one, I think it is very, very attractive. What do you think, Chris? I love the color. Yeah, so this is the olive green. This is like a limited run. Um, it's really hard to get. We happen to have them. Man, I'm doing a lot of plugs today, aren't I? Good stuff. I got the good stuff. That's right, Chris. Uh, there also comes in like a bone or a cream color. Little tip on the bone is you got to just stay on top of it because it, it does clean off very easy, but it obviously shows a little more dirt. So what do we love about Gosney? Well, as I mentioned in the first one, is their sort of proprietary way that their stone is. Um, they do a lot of commercial ovens and they've incorporated that into a residential type product. But I think it just really, really does a good job of retaining heat. But the coolest thing is, I like their dual fuel pizza ovens. It's one of the only ones that does wood and gas simultaneously. So you buy this as a propane or a natural gas model. And the way it works is, if you want more details, I'll, I go more into details on my full length video. But you can see the igniter is right down in here. It's not very good. There's no lighting in here, so it might be a little hard to see. But anyways, your gas is gonna burn up from here and then roll over the top. And then this sits over the burner. And then this side is your wood burning side. So if you're not using wood, you'll take this little plug and just pop it in there and you're ready to go. Now, if you wanna burn wood, <laughs> so you take this out, <clears throat> plug your gas side, then set this here and then you'll put your wood, burn your wood over here. Now, why is that important to burn your wood here? Is right here is your ash dump. So one, your ash is gonna dump into here, but this ash dump is also cleverly designed as your airflow. So if you want a lot more air pumping in over the wood side, you will open this up. If you wanna close down your air, you just close the ash pan on the side. So it's really unique in the sense like, 
easy peasy type cooks. You're just, you know, on the run, you need the oven hot in 20 minutes, boom, you got gas and you're ready to roll. If you wanna have a little more fun with the kids or a little more fun on the weekend, uh, you have the wood side. So it's really cleverly designed in that way. What else is really cool is it doesn't require any power and it has uh, an ignition system here. So you just hold this in, we don't have the battery in, but there's a little battery you put in it. It goes tick, 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 almost like your oven. Tick, tick, tick. What was that? That was a terrible impression. Almost like your oven and then your pilot lights. And then you move this and move this dial and it'll tell you, or it won't tell you, you'll see how high your flame is. What else is really cool about it is we have, again, a battery operated temperature control here with two meat probes. I'm so used to saying meat probes, two probes. So if you're cooking steaks or whatever you're doing, you can definitely put probes in. I don't know if you want to probe a pizza dough, right, Chris? Probably not. But if you're baking something or whatever, you could use the probes if you want. And then this is really cool. Check this out back here. So Gosney's new. So there's a ton of accessories coming out for it, but you can take this plug out and then there's gonna be a little moisture plug. And that moisture plug is gonna be for like things like bread and sourdough and stuff. So that's gonna be really cool to use those accessories. Here's our chimney, which is removable. Obviously when you're cooking, you'll take the cap off, put the cap back on. So that's the Gosney pizza oven. And not only is it extremely well designed, one of my favorite things about it is it's really, really well priced. Like this pizza oven's under two grand and it does wood and gas. These guys over here, you're gonna be double, triple, triple the price. Now it's a totally different look. So if you just want the all stainless outdoor kitchen and you want everything to match, you're probably gonna wanna go with something like that. But this is just a really, really hard deal to beat. It's what's on my patio. And I think what's so cool about it is a lot of people when, like for me, for example, um, they're doing outdoor kitchens. I really wasn't gonna put in a pizza oven. Like it was lower on my list, but when this came out and I could just set it right on the counter and it was a low, relatively low in, in dollar investment compared to, of course I get a discount here. Embers gives me a deal, so. Uh, but it's relatively low investment compared to other barbecue equipment that you're putting in. Uh, we're putting in a lot of these where people initially weren't gonna do a pizza oven. I had a guy call me, we sold him his outdoor kitchen equipment probably six, seven months ago. He saw the Gosney video. He's like, do I need this? And I'm like, absolutely you need this. And he's like, let's get it rolling. So boom, it, it creates a lot more uh, pizza ovens out in the marketplace, you could say. But here's my favorite thing about it. I'm gonna talk about price here in a second. I'm gonna go back to it. My favorite thing about it is the passion behind the company itself. So we went out to invent, I talked with Tom Gosney. He's the inventor, the founder of Gosney Pizza Ovens. And um, I loved his attitude and I loved what he had to say about the products. And you could tell the passion that he had for it uh, translates into all the cool stuff that we see here. I'm gonna show you a little clip of that interview. Here it is here. <clears throat> so obviously they know what they're doing. I think when you have that type of passion for what you're doing, you have that kind of a backstory. The, the translation is that passion is going to translate into really, really high quality products, uh, no matter what you're doing. In his case, he's manufacturing pizza ovens. So it's going to translate into really high quality stuff and their accessories are, are no different. I love this stand. This is optional. Um, their pizza cutters, their, uh, you know, serving boards, their, their, pizza turners, the pizza peels, everything about it is a plus. The only complaint I have is using mine at home. I'm in a windy area. The wind can mess with the gas side. If you're running just the gas, it's pretty sensitive to the wind. Gosney's solving that by coming out with a door. So they'll have a door option available too soon. So far, that's my only complaint. Now back to price. I have so many trolls. How many trolls, Chris, do we have that say, oh, I wonder how much money Traeger paid them, or I wonder, oh, Weber fanboy or Napoleon fanboy, right? How many? A lot. Almost every, at, clothing, they get you. And uh, almost every day, right? Yeah. And what's so funny about that is they're, they're literally saying it like if my opinion, their opinion is so far superior that if I have a different opinion, the only possible way someone could have an inferior opinion to them is the only logical explanation is I'm getting paid to do it. And 
I'm, I'm coming to a point with what I'm saying here. One, it's irritating. Two, it's insulting that you think that I'm getting paid to do these. I always say, I've done two paid videos on my entire YouTube channel and I say it from the start, it's disclosed and it's still a very, very honest review. I've never done a paid review where I've had stipulations where I can't say whatever I want about it. In fact, we did a paid review and the guy took it back. We posted the video and he, he's like, give me that, give me that grill back. Can't have it. <laughs> he did not like our review, but it wasn't that good. So it's like, don't send me a grill without stipulations, pay me to do it without me not knowing it's, if it's gonna be good or not. And it wasn't a good product. So I did the video and said it wasn't a good product and sure enough, he wasn't too happy about it. So I don't know. Anyways, what I'm saying is I'm making a point with Gosney. This is what I'm ranking number one. Besides the little rock box there, which is only four or 500 bucks, out of the other four pizza ovens I mentioned, this is the one I make the least, the least amount of money on when you buy it. And it's still ranked number one. If, if that doesn't tell you my channel is genuine, I don't know what else will. I mean, you guys gotta watch our channel. You can tell right away it's genuine. I make the least amount of money on it. It's just the best. It's the best pizza oven. So it has to be number one. Um, I would be disingenuous if I didn't put it number one. That's how strongly I feel about it. So that's my story on the Gosney. It's number one, and in fact, I think it's priced too low. I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually raise the price on it. I think they should. I think it's too low. They're offering, um, not too low, not that they should in the sense that consumers shouldn't get value. I think that the guys at Gosney are selling themselves a little short as manufacturers. Now, maybe they're just trying to get it in the market. I don't know. Um, I'm not saying that consumers should pay more money though. You guys are gonna rip me apart for that too. I just think the guys at Gosney are selling themselves a little short, in my opinion for the value that you get with this compared to the other models and what the other models, what the market rate is for pizza ovens, it's crazy. That's the Gosney Pizza Oven. Hope you enjoyed our pizza review. Remember, we got new ovens on the way. Pizza's just fun too. Chris and I were just talking about this when we walked across from just finishing that pizza there. There's nothing more fun than cooking pizza. Like, especially when, you, kind of like Tom was saying in that interview, like when you get pizza around, community around, it's just really fun. I love doing pizza oven reviews. It is a really fun day at work when we come here and cook pizzas. Got it rough here. I had to come to work today and cook a pizza. So we'll see you guys next time.